Hello. Um, so hopefully quite a quick video today. I uh, found myself a little bargain on Vinted. I got these um, this set of 24 watercolour half pans and this set of five synthetic watercolour brushes for I think just under 50, about 15 pounds including postage on Vinted. Um, and they got the RRPs on them, so but they're all from Cass Art, so I was gonna open them up and have a little look. Um, let me swatch the paints as well. So let's have a little look at these brushes. Oh, we've lost the uh, I don't know what plastic dubri technical name to put that back on after. They are taped together. I've had these, not these exact ones, but I've had Pro Art brushes before from oh, taking the paint off a bit with the tape, but doesn't matter too much. Um, so I've had some Pro Art brushes in school boxes before and they've been really good. So um, some information about the brushes. I think I've got four round ones and a flat one there. <clears throat> Feel very nice, but so I'm trying to read it there. Um, Pro Art Pro Lean. Mm, nice, nice shaped handles. Um, and I'll probably try this one for some swatching. Get that out of the way. Um, and get into these paints. Ooh, probably should have taken this tape off beforehand. This isn't very interesting, is it? I can do it. Try the other hand. Stuck down tight. Oh, blimey. Yeah, you can see the range of colours that they still got. And go through them properly when I'm swatching them. There was a swatch card in here. There it is. There's all the nice palette space on here. Look, lovely range of colours. It's got a bit scrunched up, but I'm sure it will do just fine. Um, you a lot of space to write the colour names so I'll do that afterwards um, let's get these get them sprayed you can start swatching them Ooh, this one's trying to escape Try this uh, size four. Um, I guess if we start up here, I won't be quite as likely to smudge everything. so I can get the water off my brush. 
It's quite a... Uh, Quite pigmented. I think these are sort of student grade. So we've had ivory black, and this is burnt umber. Which I guess makes this one raw umber. And then we've got a raw ochre. Never sure I'm saying that quite right, but sure you know what I mean. And a Perylene Maroon, which is not a colour I've heard of before, not a colour name anyway. I've heard of Perylene and I've heard of Maroon, but Very, very reddish brown. Quite nice. Well, there does seem to be a decent amount of pigment in them. And then we've got a chrome green. Get some water. Very um, making me think of the Wizard of Oz. Um, then we've got a Viridian. Seem to flow quite nicely as well. Um, what's next? Olive green. Mm. Brushes hold a lot of water as well. They're um, synthetic ones, so certainly doing a good job. Typically the natural brushes hold a bit more water, in my experience anyway. These are very nice paints. Um, what have we got next? Indigo. Oh, like a bit of indigo. It's a lovely colour. Um, Prussian blue. Seems quite similar to the indigo, but oh no, you can see the difference a bit closer up. The lighting's not great. It's uh, 
you think? Yeah, you can definitely see the difference now. Um, and we've got a turquoise blue. Hmm. I'm not sure I'd call that turquoise, but it's a nice blue nonetheless. Must have a lighter blue in a palette. Um, what's this cobalt blue? It's quite opaque this one. Just really spray these. Um, violet is the next one. That's nice. It's a bit different from the sort of deep, deeper purple you normally get in pound sets. And we've got a magenta. Another one that looks quite opaque. But yeah, again, you don't often get a sort of pale pink in these sets so that's quite nice. Um, this one is Crimson Lake Deep and I've definitely picked up too much paint there so I'm just going to clean that off my brush. That's very pigmented. Lovely red though. And again, nice, nice movement on some of these paints. Yeah, what have we got next? Permanent rose. And that's a very vibrant. I think that's more what I'd call the magenta. How that just leaps across when I touch the water to it. Really nice. Um, what next? Uh, Alizarin Crimson. It's a much warmer red than the previous one. What's that other one called? Uh, Crimson Lake Deep. And we've got a Scarlet Lake. Which is a very orange red. It doesn't want to get off the brush. Ooh, it's got a sort of neon quality to it, this one. I like that. Um, we've got cadmium orange. I'm 
not my favourite, the sort of cadmium oranges, yellows and reds, because they tend to be more opaque. I prefer transparent watercolours. Um, but yeah, still very nice colour. And uh, this one's just just orange. Then we've got gamboge. And a nice yellow. Um, and then a lemon yellow. Go a bit lighter. Uh, and finally a titanium white, which mm, I don't know, I don't big fan of a white taking up a space in a watercolour palette uh, pan set. So don't really use white watercolour. But there we go. No, I can't even get that to apart from making pastel colours, it's not got an awful lot of use. So yeah, that's the um, colours we've got to work with. I'm just going to have this pad, so oh, one sheet left, just going to scroll a box. I'm just going to have a quick go at just doing some flowers or something, or and mixing some colours. Um, let's get... This red that moved quite well. Oops, that didn't go quite right, did it? No, oh, well, you know, uh, took a whole bunch of water on it now, so. Yeah, really lovely movement in the water. Sometimes I find the student grade paints don't don't do that as well. But look at it, look at the he flows really nice. There's a lot of pigment in there. What colour should we do next to it? I'm going to try and make something like a sort of lavender purple. That's too, too vibrant for lavender. Chuck a little bit of indigo in there.
so you can see what I'm doing. this little brush mm, which green do we want let's just go with this one I didn't have enough paint on the brush there, but hmm. probably trying to do that with too thin a brush. Oh, it's We just try and put a bit of blue in here. This fluffy lavender. Oh, really really nice paints um, especially for what I paid for them but I think even at full price there they're very nice for definitely on the par with sort of other student grade ones that I've tried like the Windsor and Newton Cotman's um, A mess there. And these brushes are very nice too. Get a uh, nice variation with the lines. That's uh, enough experimenting. So there's the paints, there's the swatches, which I'll, I'll try and name. Very small. Um, this little play you can. But I'm very impressed with those. Hopefully, you've enjoyed watching and yeah, keep an eye out for some more bargains that we can share with you. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.